Hello everyone. Thank you for being here to watch the video of my presentation. My name is Yi Chao. I'm working at Delft University of Technology in the Netherlands. Today, I would like to talk about my work on fault tolerant control of the offshore wind energy. We proposed a fast adaptive fault accommodation method for floating offshore wind turbines. Their model based for diagnosis and subspace predictive repetitive control. This work is partially supported by the European Union via Marie Curie Action. Over the past decade, offshore wind energy has been playing an increasingly important role in the international wind energy mix, being capable of harvesting deep water wind resources. However, offshore wind turbines would experience mechanical failure and system faults due to the wind and the wave loads in the harsh environment. It is erected in the deep water at a considerable distance from the shore, which will lead to the reduced accessibility and maintainability. Both of them will induce operation interruption, economic losses, and then lead to higher levelized cost of energy. For example, this figure shows failure rate of different components of offshore wind turbines. The x-axis shows the main components of the wind turbine, such as pitch control system, generator, gearbox, blades, and so on. The y-axis shows the failure number per turbine per year. We can see that the pitch control system implies the highest failure rate, namely 1.15 among the components of wind turbines. Such a highest failure rate, in general, is caused by various faults of pitch control system due to the extreme and continuous environmental loads of the water. All the faults can be divided into severe fault and non-severe fault. For severe fault, it implies a complete loss of control authority, such as abrupt pitch actuator stack. For non-severe fault, it includes the pitch actuator or sensor degradation. However, currently, there is no fault torrent control for such a severe pitch actuator stack fault. And the preferred way to deal with the fault is through a safe and fast shutdown of the wind turbine. As pitch actuator stack faults appear frequently, this may lead to high operation and maintenance costs due to lost power production and unplanned maintenance. Therefore, it is important to design a fault torrent control for pitch actuator stack fault. Usually, there are two approaches to design a fault torrent control. First one, we could use adaptive controller which is able to learn the faulty system dynamics and achieve torrent control. The drawback is it will take some time to approximate the faults. The second one is a controller with pre-tuned parameter. However, we have to pretend all the parameters offline to match the possible faults, which could be not effective in reality. In order to solve this problem, in our research, we propose a hybrid method called Fast Adaptive Fault Torrent Control. It is integrating an online model-based fault diagnosis system and a subspace predictive repetitive control namely the SPRC. This figure shows the overall structure of the proposed architecture, which is deployed 
on a 10 megawatt floating offshore wind turbine. The fault diagnosis system is used to detect and isolate the pitch actuator faults, which are based on the computed reference pitch angle and the measured pitch angle. The fault diagnosis results are then sent to SPRC-based IPC. The IPC is used to compute the reference control input based on the measured blade root bending moments. The main steps have been presented in this slide. In the nominal healthy condition, the SPRC-based IPC is used to control the blade pitch of the wind turbine. Once a fault happens, the fault diagnosis system is used to quickly detect and isolate the failed pitch actuator. Based on the fault detection and isolation results, a pre-tuned adaptive SPRC is switched online in place of the existing one, whose initial values of the parameters have been tuned offline to match the specific detected faulty case. In order to show the effectiveness of the proposed method, we are going to use a floating offshore wind turbine to do a case study. This floating offshore wind turbine is based on a DTU 10 MW reference offshore wind turbine, and the floater is using the triple spar floating platform. Regarding the model configuration, some load cases with different wind speeds and amplitudes of the faults are considered. In total, three load cases, which are described by a uniform wind profile, are considered in this case study. The main hub height wind speeds are 12, 16, and 20 meters per second, respectively. In addition, one specific pitch actuator stack type of fault is chosen for each load case. Considering a different pitch angle setting equaling to 20 degree, 0 degree, and 10 degree respectively for the stack blade, namely the third blade for all the cases. During each load case, 1400 seconds are simulated at a fixed discrete time of 0.01 second, with a fault occurring at 900 seconds. Based on this model, the effectiveness of the proposed method will be presented. First of all, the fault diagnosis results of this approach are presented here. The results show that the third pitch actuator fails since the residues between the measured and predicted pitch angles exceed the threshold. Therefore, the fault is detected and isolated successfully once it occurs at pitch actuator. After that, a pre-tuned SPRC in this approach is switched online automatically in place of the existing one to match the fault and achieve a fast fault accommodation. In comparison, this figure shows a regular adaptive controller as well. The proposed architecture achieves a faster load mitigation than the regular adaptive SPRC. However, the regular one indicated by the red dashed line shows a much higher load at 1050 seconds than others. And finally, the load reduced. It implies that the regular adaptive controller needs to take some time to learn the faulty dynamics in order to formulate the proper control input. Their corresponding pitch angles are presented here. We can see that the developed approach has a faster response to the faults. According to the power spectrum density of the blade loads and pitch angles presented in these slides, it is clear that the proposed method 
also has a better performance in load mitigation at 1p frequency compared to others. While the regular adaptive SPRC shows the highest value at 1p loads in the left subfigure, it indicates that it is not the effective way to deal with the pitch actuator faults. The corresponding theta in load case 3, namely the parameter of the controller used to formulate the control inputs, are presented in this slide. It is found that the parameter theta, when using the proposed architecture, tend to a value very quickly, which implies a much faster adaptation compared to the regular adaptive SPRC-based IPC only. All the results are summarized in this table. We can see that all the loads are reduced by the proposed approach by more than 50%. The regular method only achieves 20% load reduction in load case 1 and load case 3. In summary, the developed fast adaptive algorithm in general shows more load reduction in this considered 4D conditions. In this research, a novel architecture is proposed to accommodate the pitch actuator stack type of fault in a fast adaptive way. The effectiveness and the benefits of the proposed architecture has been illustrated in a case study where a 10 MW floating offshore wind turbine in different load cases. Results show that the proposed architecture integrating the fault diagnosis system and SPRC-based IPC is able to significantly elevate the pitch actuator stack induced blade loads. More importantly, the time needed to reduce the pitch actuator stack induced loads are significantly shortened, which to some extent avoid further damage to other components of floating offshore wind turbines due to possible improper control inputs formulated by the SPRC-based IPC only during the slow adaptation time and therefore continued power generation. Thank you for your attention. More details about this part of our work can be found in our paper. At the end of the presentation, I would like to thank my co-authors Ping Wu, Ricardo Ferrari, and Yang Wilen van Wingeden. Thank you.